Okay. Well, um, red flags are financial statements that don't line up. Okay. You get something, it shows X amount of earnings, but it never materializes in, in increasing the net worth of the company. Uh, in other words, there are things where if you see sloppy numbers, in other words, a, a column's supposed to add up and it doesn't add up. Okay. You know, somebody didn't pay attention to, to the numbers. And I, and, 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 you know, I see that I would say 12 to 15% of the time where numbers just aren't making sense. And so I don't even investigate much further because, you know, garbage in, garbage out. If you're only giving me garbage numbers, how can I come up with anything but a garbage estimate of what it's worth? And I don't want to deal with that. Okay. So I, I, first of all, I look at what kind of the quality of numbers am I getting uh, from the seller? What kind of a, of information am I, am I getting? So that's a red flag when I see numbers that don't make sense or don't line up. Um, sometimes you'll see uh, things on there, like a big amount of money that's owed to the seller, no documentation as to what it is, how it got there, uh, and, uh, confusion about what's going to happen that, uh, as part of the purchase of the company. So I, I look for some continuity in, in the basic documents that are being uh, presented to me. Um, a big red flag, uh, conceivably, um, could be, um, aging equipment. Okay. In other words, the seller hasn't made an investment for years in new equipment. The state of production equipment today, for example, is such that the automation is the biggest part of the value of, of a piece of equipment, what it can do, what, uh, technology has been, uh, infused into the machinery or equipment just because of the evolution of time, you know, as time goes on, technology keeps getting better. The machine that was a great machine five years ago or 10 years ago probably isn't a great production machine today, unless you're dealing in a very stable, low change industry, which not a lot are today. Everything's changing, changing very fast. So if I don't see continuing investment in new equipment, upgrading equipment, uh, money spent on maintenance, um, those are things that are, are, are key red flags to me because that any deferred maintenance I'm going to have to pay for any, uh, technology that is missing means that that old machine may be obsolete. I'm going to have to get rid of it at some low price and have to buy a new piece of equipment that could cost a lot of, a lot of money today. Uh, and, uh, and then when I look at the cost of that new machine and factor it into the cost of the company. And the uh, amount of sales and, and do the analysis, it may be that the deal isn't going to work. So I look for all that stuff. Those are the kind of red flags that I look for. I look for, if I go in to uh, visit the location, I, I, I check every office, every office. I go in there and look at every office in, in, in their facility. And if it looks like an office is not occupied, or if it looks like the office is even occupied, but there's uh, discolorations on the walls where pictures used to be, but they're not anymore. I asked who used to occupy this office. And if it was their star salesman who just left them, I know I'm not buying the same company that I'm looking at the numbers for, right? Because that person who, who did that, uh, isn't, isn't there anymore. Um, I, I look at what do I have to replace? Um, and uh, what are the costs of that? And so I'm always looking for what isn't there as opposed to even what is there. 